All right, what up, what up, people? What's popping? What's good? What's good? What's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, Miles Cunningham in the building. And yep. we still waiting on Fresh and uh and and uh Myron, but this is the in the game podcast, guys. All right, so what's good? What's good? What's good? Shout out to April MC in the building. Put the links up. You feel what I'm saying? Um, today we're gonna be talking about why women play games and won't have sex with you, won't sleep with you. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to Dean. Shout out to L Z W. Shout out to James Bradley. Uh, Vam C. Shout out to you. French is in the building. Shout out to all y'all. Tay Punk seventy four was popping. Make sure you guys hit the like button as soon as y'all get in because the game's gonna be heavy. The game's going to be serious. Shout out to G Money. Shout out to Beck, Quay Verse, Purpose and Goals in the building. What's going on, bro? So we, we about to get it in, man. John yeah. Royal, he said the Batman membership is fire. You feel oh. what I'm saying? Facts. Facts. I, I, I totally agree. <laughs> I totally agree. Facts. So Yo, shout happy out to everybody, man. This is yeah. the first in the game podcast show of the year. You feel me? Right. Shout out to Trending Topic TV. Shout out to Blastomatic Diesel. What's going on? What's going on? King Leak in the building. Adrian D is in the building. So today we're going to be talking about, you know, why women play games and won't sleep with you. Mm. Right? They won't sex you. They, they're not going to do this. You understand what I'm saying? And why do, why do women bother? Because I, I get a lot of guys who ask me this question. They're like, yo, why is it that... You know, a chick will take my number, you know, uh, or give me her number. I call her and then she gives me the runaround. Or I told this girl to come to my place. She came to my place, but then she act like she didn't want to do nothing. Um, you know, I went out on, you know, two or three dates with this girl. She seemed interested, but then nothing really came, you know, came of it. Right now, what you have to understand is, is that the reason why women play games with guys, right? Is because women can't, okay, listen to what I'm saying. Women can't, they cannot have sex with everybody. You understand Woo. what I'm saying? Women cannot have sex with everybody, but women can, what they can do is, is that they can have a large number of men still give them attention and validation. You understand what I'm saying? So therefore, women are not going to turn down attention and validation and all this other stuff just because they can't have sex with everybody. But what they'll do is, is that they'll string men along, making these men think that they're going to get sex. You understand what I'm saying? Make sure you guys get those, those mugs. I'm God to these hoes. Go to Teespring, click the link below. You feel me? That's the joint right there. You feel me? But this is the thing. They're going to string you along because they still want the attention because the attention, the attention builds them up. Understand they, th that the tension is something that they can always go to, right? To recharge their batteries. You understand what I'm saying? To recharge that feeling. You understand what I'm saying? Um, just in case, let's say, for example, they might be having a bad day, right? Or a guy that they really liked hasn't called them in a few days, right? Um, you know, they're not feeling sexy or whatever, and then they, you know they go on Tinder, Instagram, Bumble. Uh, you know, they might go out to a different spot or a different place and they're going to get attention from them. They'll dress all sexy and all this other stuff. Right. And what they have to do is, is that they have to lead you on and they have to, uh, you know, put on the show so that they can get the attention. Because if a woman just, t if a woman told you, Hey, listen, you know, uh, I'm just not, I'm not really feeling you like that. And, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to waste your time by, you know, just stringing you along. You're not really going to go for that. Most men are not going to go for that. Some dudes are so whack that they probably still would go for it, but most men ain't going to go for it. You understand what I'm saying? And so what happens is, is that when a woman, when a woman totally doesn't like a dude, when she's, when he, when she's like, uh, you know, she's totally like not into him at all. You understand what I'm saying? What she'll do is, is that she'll get rid of that guy immediately. But then she has the other guys who she'll have just in, you know, the 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 sort of like cue, you understand what I'm saying? Right. Orbiters. 
right, the orbiters that's going to just, you know, basically um, be there to feed her this attention. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, but Miles, what's your thoughts on all that, man? Well, you know, you got to understand that women are insecure by nature. And what I mean when I say they're insecure by nature is that they constantly struggle with the fact that they ain't shit. <laughs> Miles is stupid. Miles is already starting. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, seriously, bro. Like, all right, you know what? It, you know what a woman is. <clears throat> a woman is like a stick of dynamite, right? Mm. Until you light her on fire, she serves no fucking purpose. <laughs> I'm so serious. Think about it. Think about the shit. What like in 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 the general scheme of what it takes to make the world go round? What is the female's purpose? Mm. To have kids, bro. Like to you understand? If you don't fuck this chick, what what happens? What does she do? What's her real purpose? What's going on with her? You understand what I'm saying? Nothing, mm. nothing. So it's like, yo, a chick. At the end of the day, when it comes down to the natural order of things, a woman already knows she ain't shit. You understand? So she has to keep, like you said, she has to keep the orbiters around. She it's funny how <clears throat> females are the ones that are usually the cheerleaders, but a female actually needs cheerleaders. Mm -hmm. She needs right. the orbiters. She needs the guys that you know stand around her and fucking cheer that and say, You go, girl. Why the fuck you think? That nigga Martin Lawrence got so popular when he came out with that saying. Right, right, right. Oh, girl. Bitches love that shit because it's like, oh, for like for just for one second, I can kind of breathe and realize that, you know, I have I have potential. You understand right. what I'm saying? I have potential to do or be something or to have some type of purpose. But <clears throat> again, who came up with that fucking saying? A mm. guy, bro, a fucking right. man. And he right. actually built a fucking multi-million dollar career off of that shit. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Right. Because you look at Martin now. Martin is one of the Martin is like on Eddie Murphy level. Like fucking Cat Williams did a, 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 a comedy. His first comedy, a uh, uh, big comedy appearance. He was one of his his jokes was talking about how big Martin Lawrence house was and how he was mad leaving Martin Lawrence house to go back his to, to his house. Like, right. fuck, you know, like I'm so dissatisfied, like Martin got a bowling alley and all this type of shit in his house. You know what I'm saying? Right. And he came up with that phrase. Look, chicks, man. And I swear, I don't say, a lot of people don't think I'm, I'm saying that to be, uh, you know, demeaning to women. You understand? Mm. Right. But it's, it's really just the truth. It's mm. really, really, really just the truth in the natural order of things. Because, listen, for example. Let's look at the movie Greenland. It now it's on demand right now. It's you know if if it if the movies was if there was no pandemic we would be going to see this in the movies right now, right? Right, right. It's, it's a disaster movie. Yeah. Mm. There was it, I don't want to ruin the movie too much, but there's a there's a part in the movie where the guy separates from his wife. You understand? Right. And the re like. Anybody would think, oh, well, she's a woman and she's strong and she can handle herself. And nigga, they saw, look, I don't want, again, I don't want to ruin the movie, but let's just say that they got separated and she right. didn't stand a chance. Mm -hmm. she, there was a, she met up with this one dude and she didn't stand a fucking chance. And what, I'm, what I mean when I say that is that y'all niggas could hide behind um, technology. Y'all could hide behind all the conveniences of modern life if you want to. But if shit hits the fan to if shit hits the fan today, you understand? Mm -hmm. And and they send, you know, there's a fucking natural catastrophe and this shit goes all of the shit you see and goes to shit. Right. Women are targets, bro. They become targets immediately. You get what I'm saying? Right. They mm -hmm. become because they are the weaker, they are the weaker sex. They are the they are the ones that we we put game and purpose into them. We right. put them. You understand what I'm saying? That's how it works, and that's the truth of the matter. So when I say women ain't shit, it, it ain't like, you know, it sounds funny, blah, blah, blah. But what I'm really saying is that 
it's men who like who give women purpose. It's men who who guard and protect and provide for women. You right. Understand? But see, the thing with women is that after they have sex with you, they 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 pretty much they pretty much have. That's when the work for them begins. You mm. understand? A man is always working. We're always improving ourselves. We, you know, we go into the gym. We're trying to make more money. We're trying to get, you know, choose the signals <laughs> and all of that bullshit. You know, right. so we got to approach. We got to approach bitches. We got to set up the date. We got to pay for the date. We got to do this. We got to do that. Blah, 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 blah. It's a whole long laundry list of shit men have to do all the time. And it never stops. Even after you get the bitch, it don't stop. Because right. you're still managing. You're still doing this. You're still doing that. You still got a game, gamer. You still got to let her know what you need her to do for your life. You understand? Mm -hmm. We never stop working. And we know that because we're men and that's okay. Right? Right. But when a woman gives up the pussy, that's when she has to start working. She has to prove herself to have some type of value in your life. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So that's why a lot of women play games because they're still trying to decide if, if it's worth the trouble. You get mm. what I'm saying? And, and she also plays games because she wants to know that if I could get his attention, energy, and resources for free, why the fuck would I give up my, my number one bargaining chip? Right. And that's what a lot of you simp niggas with no game do. You give up a lot of your attention, energy, and resources <coughs> to these women for free. And, and if you're going to give it to, for free, they're willing to take it. Like, I, um, shout out to Steve the Dean, right? I, on his Facebook, I saw the other day, there's a video of this, like, you know, this this young, pretty, pretty looking model chick or whatever. And she's staring in the camera. She's talking about, look, if guys want to give me money and fly me out to nice places and buy me stuff, then that's not my fault. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's like, right. why would I not accept it? And it's like, and she's right. She's totally right. There's, there's, why would she not accept it if these niggas is willing to give it up for free? You understand what I'm saying? Right. You, a lot of these chicks that you see getting flown around, they're not even necessarily fucking these niggas. Mm, that's true. Like this, this, there was a whole documentary like a, a couple of years ago about this thing called rinsing. Look it up. It's when a, a rich guy meets a, a, a quote unquote pretty girl on on social media, mm -hmm. and just to keep in contact back and forth. It was probably Instagram. It was probably uh, OnlyFans before there was OnlyFans. But it's this thing called rinsing, where the chick she she tells that she she's in contact with the guy on on social media. And then she she'll just walk into a fucking um a, a, a designer store and say, "Hey, this mug looks awesome, and I like drinking from it. What, you know, why don't you send me the money so I can buy it?" And that rich motherfucker sends the money so she can buy it, so she can buy it, just so just so he can have a reason to talk to her. You understand right. what I'm saying? So right. there's a few reasons why a chick will play games. Because there's a lot of motherfuckers out here with no fucking game, fucking it up for real niggas. Right. You know? Because a dude like me, I don't give, at this point in, the, in my game, I don't give bitches no chances to fuck around. If you're not doing what I'm trying to do, peace. You understand? You're done. You're charged. If, 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 if you reply to me wrong on a date in that, you don't get a date. Period. Mm, right. That's how I roll. You understand what I'm saying? But then you have so many other you motherfuckers Texting these bitches back and forth. Good morning, beautiful. Well, well, how was your day? What did you have for lunch? It's like, nigga, stop. You understand? But hey, I can't tell you how to stop. All I could do is is do what, what I can do. But these chicks is forever gonna play around because you got simp niggas giving it giving it away for free, so they'll take it, and because they know that they only have a limited amount of power, a limited amount of bargain chips, mm -hmm. um, a limited amount of bargaining chips, because you know, once they give up the pussy, it's a wrap for them. It's a right. wrap unless they actually have game and they know they know that they they know that they can be more interesting or useful or valuable than their fucking vagina. And most of these chicks, let's be honest, they can't. They right. they really really can't. And it's and I'm not happy to say that. Don't think I'm happy to fucking say that. You understand what I'm saying? I right. want I want to find more women. Because think about this: if there were more women that were submissive and useful and valuable to men. Wouldn't this wouldn't society be be far, further along? Don't you think so? Mm. You see what I'm saying? But instead, we're, we're stuck here going back and forth and fighting about who's cheating and who. And oh, well, you need to marry me. You need to put a ring on it and fuck out of here. 
You need to realize that if shit hit the fan, you're going to be seeking my protection and provision. So you need to fucking submit and just help me make a better life for this whole world in general. You understand what I'm saying? That's what you need to fucking do. But then that sounds too misogynistic. You see what right. I'm saying? Right. <laughs> so, guys, the call the number is 516-387-1224. 516-387-1224 is the call in number. Uh, make sure you guys hit the like button. Get them likes up, people. You feel what I'm saying? Get that cracking. So um, April's about to, she's she's uh, going to put the um, the donate button up soon, but you guys can still call in. You feel what I'm saying? 516-387-1224 if you want to call in. But yeah, this is the thing. And and I want to talk about the, 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 the whole thing of women not sleeping with you, not having sex with you. Right. You understand what I'm saying? And this is where game really comes in let me let me let me go in so that you guys understand what's popping off out here in these streets right what happens is this if you have game and you have sex appeal mm -hmm. it's going to be easy for you to have sex with women you understand what i'm saying right i'm saying again if you have game and you got sex appeal it's going to be easy for you to have sex with women right the reason why a lot of you guys are not able to get sex from women or why women are not having sex with you or they stringing you along, wasting the time, playing games, all this other stuff, is because when a woman first meets you, sometimes what'll happen is, is that she already off the bat doesn't find you sexually appealing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And what a lot of guys will think is, they think, oh, well, it's just because of my looks and, oh, I don't have money or whatever it, the case may be, right? What it is, is that you don't know how to interact with women to where they get a certain feeling when they're dealing with you. You understand what I'm saying? And so when you start talking to women and you're interacting with them, you're having conversations with them. A lot of dudes, they're real platonic. You understand what I'm saying? Um, they, you know, you guys don't flirt. You don't build sexual tension. You don't know how to read a woman. You understand what I'm saying? You don't know how to read the body language, read how she's, you know, reacting to what you're saying, none of that stuff. So what happens is, is that you don't create a situation where the girl is feeling like she wants to make something happen. Now, understand this. Sometimes off the bat, a chick is going to want to fuck because she's just automatically feeling you like that. You understand what I'm saying? She's automatically sexually attracted to you. So all you need to do at this point is not fuck it up by, you know, being goofy and doing some nonsense. You understand what I'm saying? By talking yourself out the pussy. Right. Then you have other situations where a woman is kind of neutral when it comes to dealing with you, right? She's, it's not like she's not feeling you, but she's not all the way like, you know, like she's, it's like whatever, she can take it or leave it. But then if you have game and you know how to talk to women, right? What's going to happen is, is that you're going to be in a situation where the women that you're interacting with at first even though they weren't thinking about necessarily having sex with you, they start to think about having sex with you because they start to find you sexually appealing based off of how you're interacting with them, based off of how you're coming at them, based off of how you're talking to them. You see what I'm saying? So what happens is you may be, this is why when a lot of guys, this is what guys say, which is a bunch of bullshit that, that annoys the fuck out of me every time I hear this. Guys say, well, if a girl doesn't like your looks, right? then you're not going to have any, uh, you know, time to spit your game. This is what dudes are saying all the time. They're like, well, if she doesn't like the way you look, then you're not going to have a chance to talk to her and spit your game, right? Mm -hmm. So they say that you have to look good first and your looks will get you in the door first, and then you can talk to her, which is BS. You understand what I'm saying? That's all bullshit. I'm telling you guys right now. Women will basically talk to any goddamn body who's talking to them if they're right. in the mood to talk. You understand right. what I'm saying? Like, if you've ever been out on a Saturday night, Friday night, in any sort of city area where the clubs is popping, you know, things is going off, and there's a lot of people out and they're doing their thing, right? What's going to happen is, is that you're going to run across a large number of women who's out to socialize, have fun, drink, you know, do all that other stuff, right? now. Those women, they're just chilling, hanging out, doing their thing. And you can approach any of these women, right? Now, if you know how to talk, 
and you have a tight mouthpiece, you understand what I'm saying? And you know how to interact with these women. These are women who at some point could end up finding you sexually appealing based off of the fact of how you came at them, how you interacted with them. You understand what I'm saying? They're going to they're gonna be able to, 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 to do this and make this happen. You see what I mean? And so that's the thing where, you know, when you know how to talk to, to, uh, to, to women, what's going to happen is you're going to be able to get women to see you as sexually appealing. Because I talked about this before, is that there's five types of attraction, five main types of attraction, right? There's physical attraction, sexual attraction, attraction based off of behavior, attraction to resources, and friendship attraction. Oh my God. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I'll say it again. Physical attraction, sexual attraction, behavior attraction, attraction because of resources, and friendship attraction. Right now, a lot of these things can, you know, intertwine with each other. You understand what I'm saying? So a woman can be physically attracted to you and sexually attracted to you. Or a woman could be attracted to you sexually and she could be attracted to your behavior. You understand? A woman could be attracted to you because of your resources and she could be attracted to you because of like friendship and, and, and friendship also entails just attention or attention whoring. You understand what I'm saying? Where well, a woman is going to use you for attention, right. right? So what a lot of guys don't understand is, is that when you approach a woman, right? She may not necessarily see you as her ideal physical type, meaning that she doesn't have physical attraction for you. But based off of, let's say she likes your behavior, right? Your behavior is the thing that could get her to also be sexually attracted to you. Mm. So why, if you're not the best looking guy or you're also not her physical type, she can still be sexually attracted to you. Why? Because sexual attraction is different from physical attraction. Now, a woman can be physically attracted to you and sexually attracted to you based off of her being physically attracted to you. You understand what I'm saying? So all of these things can go back and forth, but a woman could also be physically attracted to you, but not sexually attracted to you. You understand right. what I'm saying? So <laughs> therefore, this is why I say it's not all about looks because a woman can think you look good. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But she can also still not be sexually attracted to you. And this is why you're gonna where you're gonna have women who's gonna play games. You're right. thinking, oh, she well, you know, she thinks you're cute, but guess what? She ain't trying to fuck you. <laughs> She'll still use you for attention, which is what's going to cause her to play games. But, but I, mean? I also want to say too is that another reason why chicks will play games and not fuck you is because you you think because based on what I was saying before, how they'll, you know, they have Sims and they have this and they have that. Mm. You you make a chick think she has a fucking choice. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what happened with a lot of you niggas in the, in the, in the game. A lot of you dudes in the game, y'all make these y'all allow these chicks to think they have a fucking choice. That's why I that's why I, that's why I talk the way I talk when it comes to charging charging these broads, bro. Because with me, I don't I don't really give chicks the choice to you know, quote unquote put me in the friend zone. I don't give chicks the choice to quote unquote use me just for my attention mm -hmm. or just for my resources. This is why we say like if sex is not happening by the second date, it's a fucking rap. You right. understand? She has to realize she has no fucking. There's no. There's not too many plays you can make fucking with me. Right. You know what I'm saying? You you could go because yo. One time I saw I was in a I was in a bar and I was chilling, and I I, I hollered at I hollered at this one chick, <clears throat> and the vibe the vibe was the vibe wasn't really good. I was like flirting, and the vibe wasn't cool. So so cool. She wasn't feeling me. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. But then I saw her go hang out with this dude, and this nigga was buying her drinks all fucking night, bro. Right. He was just talking and laughing, and she was bumping into him. And, but did he take her home that night? No, no, he didn't. Right. The bitch, the bitch left with her homegirl. Mm -hmm. so what I'm saying is, okay, yeah, you can look at me and say, oh, yeah, Mal Mouse took an L because, you know, he tried to holler and he got rejected, right? Right. Or you could or you could you could realize that Miles don't take L's. Mm. Because Miles holler at a bitch 
And if the if, if she don't realize what's going on, then she gets charged and she could let a simp nigga buy her drinks all night because Miles not doing it. Right. You understand? Miles is, is buying his own drinks and hollering at other bitches in the spot. Right. While mm-hmm. the simp nigga is buying her drinks all fucking night and then she just gonna leave with her homegirl. And 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 now the simp nigga is is you know spent spent his fucking little, you know what I'm saying, his nine to five check on this hoe. You understand what I'm saying? Right, right. I might meet a girl and not and and, and the vibe might not work, but I don't take L's, bro. I don't fucking take L's. That's not what you understand. If I was to be the one to be like, oh well, you know, in my mind, I'm like, oh well, she's not feeling me, so I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to wear her down and, and buy her drinks and chill with her all night. Get the fuck out of here. A bitch know if she like you or not. Facts. Facts. A bitch know if she like you or not, my nigga. Facts. It's up to you to let her know, okay, bitch, you got two choices. <laughs> it's either you fuck me tonight or the next time I see you. <laughs> that's that's it. And if you if you if you have if you put your game on like that, you you will there's 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 pretty much no way you could fucking lose. You understand what I'm saying? But you know, y'all got it. Myron, what's going on, bro? What's up, man? What's up? Uh, first and foremost, I want to apologize to all the people in the chat. Uh, I was we were out with uh, saying the sinners, you guys know. Uh, Shout out, to the dude. Yeah, we, we we were at Moxie's. Well, look, are you know because you've been here before, bro? I literally just ran. I, I ate my mango chicken fast as hell, and I was like, yo, I got a show, and I ran out, bro. I just left the cart and ran. So, right. uh, do you order anything but the mango chicken money? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, bro. I don't. I have the same thing. Uh, but now, man, as you guys know, uh, you know. See, we, we're we're boys, bro. They we have, they even know what I order off the menu. But no, I literally ran back here because it is important to be on the show. This topic is very important, man. Yeah. And uh, real talk, guys. I want to say this real fast because right now, bro, I'm going viral on Twitter again because I made some comments that has everyone going fucking crazy. And right. what? Well, uh, and I'm just gonna say my point, and then uh, Lakari, if you don't mind, I could share the screen and we could just show the show the video, bro. I got girls going nuts, but uh. I'll say my point real fast and I'll pull it up. But the thing is this, guys. Never let a chick make you wait for sex, bro. And don't let... Because the thing is, is that when you let a chick sit there and be like, oh, well, I don't want to do it right now, whatever, that's fine. She's within her right to tell you no. But you know what? You need to kick her out your crib immediately. Because the thing is, is that if you let her know that she could could do that type of shit to you, she's going to continue to do it. And the other thing, too, is that a girl's never not fucking... So if she's not banging you, she's banging someone else. Right. And if she's not banging you, then what that basically means is you're either A, she doesn't find your sex appeal that high, or B, you're just like, you're the plan B or C, and she's getting enough dick from the other guy. Because right. women, can, here's the thing, women tell on themselves by their actions, and I'll, say, I'll explain what I mean by this. A girl can really only give herself physically to one man at a time. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? She might have other guys that she might like bang here or there, but she's going to turn those guys down for sex. You know, like every night, if she, don't, if she doesn't feel it, she's not going to fuck them. But there is one guy, no matter how much she feels like crap, she's on her period. She doesn't want to do it, whatever. She's always going to fuck that guy. Mm. And that guy, that's the guy that's number one on her list. That's where you guys need to be. Right. Rain his time, no matter how she feels, she gives you sex. And, that, and I know people are probably in the thing like, oh, Myron, that's fucked up. Why would you say it like that? Blah, blah, blah. It goes beyond the sex, guys. It goes to the level of respect. You understand? Right. I've, had girl, right. I've had a girl be fucking sick and say, I don't feel good, but let, let's do it. And then I look at her and be like, you know what? Nah, it's all good. But you know what? The fact that she was willing to do it, and no matter, regardless of how she felt, because she respected me that much, I said, yo, it's fine. Like, let's just watch some TV or some shit, you know? But right. the fact that she was willing to do it. And you need women that are willing to do that. Because, bro, if a chick ain't going to fuck you, what makes you think you could tell her to go do something else? You can't give her any real duties if she can't fulfill her main one. Right. And her main one is to fuck you, whether girls want to admit it or not. Bro, I said this shit too, like so on, on TikTok, because people went crazy when I said this. I said, yo, if your wife doesn't fuck you anymore, you need to divorce her. Whoa, you're a misogynist. Oh. No, it's because this. Women have a laundry list of requirements of men. He's right. got a different height. He's got to look a certain way. How much money do you make, etc. Men have to, by default of being men, we have to bring shit to the table when we deal with the opposite gender. Period. Game, money, right looks, status, whatever it is. You have to bring something to the table. Women don't got to bring really that much to the table. Are you attractive? Are you available? So 
guys are attracted to a woman's physicality. So really, all a guy really wants is can you know maybe cook and clean here and there and fuck right. If you can't even fulfill that, you're useless. You're literally useless. And I know what they're gonna say. You're objectifying us. Shut the fuck up. You chicks are out here objectifying yourselves on OnlyFans anyway. You just that, you mad when I hold your ass accountable for the objectification. So the thing is this. You want a guy who's successful that has all these things? Then you better fucking come out and put out. And the problem is that chicks want to get all the benefits of being with a high-value guy, but sometimes they don't want to put in the fucking work. And you as the man, you have to sometimes give that bitch a reminder that, hey, you're with a high-value guy and I could replace your ass. And that's when she's going to realize, oh, shit, uh, if, if I don't fuck this guy, he's going to, like, kick me to the curb. And right. that's how you need to feel. The problem is that a lot of dudes will sit there and be like, no, it's okay, babe. Don't worry about it. No, I don't feel like fucking. Bro, she's getting it from somebody else. So if anything... It needs to be a respect thing, bro. So, like, but we live in a society now where it's like, you know, women could do no wrong. And if you hold them accountable, you're an evil guy and all this other shit. Like, like you're it's so like controlling. A you're so controlling and abusive. Oh my God. It's wild shit, man. So here, I'll pull up that clip real quick. I'll go on Twitter. It's bro, well, well, while you while are you pulling that up? I wanna I wanna address what <laughs> Ace just said in the in the thing. He said, How can a woman desire you physically but not want to smash? Understand this women do not desire you physically. You understand what I'm saying? This is what you guys don't understand. When I say physical attraction, that means she's attracted to you physically. Right. So that do like for example, do you know that um do you know that men, straight men can be attracted physically to another man? This is why you got all these fucking black pill videos where niggas talking about, look at his jawline. Look at the way his jawline comes out. Oh my God, this guy's a Chad. Look at his jawline and those pecs and those abs. That that's That's physical attraction. You understand what I'm saying? Physical attraction is, is that a woman could look at you and say you're handsome and you may not necessarily be her type physically, meaning that a woman can say, I think this guy looks good. I can see why other women would find him handsome also, but exactly. I do not want to have sex with him. So when they talk about physical attraction, it's not about desire. It's just about attraction. You see what I'm saying? That's what it's about. And so what you have to understand is, is that a woman can look at you and be physically attracted to you, but not be sexually attracted to you. So therefore she doesn't desire you sexually. Desire has to come with actual, it's about sex. It's not about physicality. Right. You understand what I'm saying? She may want, she may desire you sexually because of your physical, but that does not necessarily mean that she desires you sexually because of your physical. If she's just physically attracted to you and not sexually attracted to you. You see what I'm saying? So I just want you guys to, to understand that aspect of the game. Let's let's try to let's uh. All right, I'll uh, let me, I'll run to the computer and hit play real quick. Give me a sec. Yeah, so this is this is uh this is the stuff Myron's getting banned off of because uh <laughs> he's out here. <laughs> what do you do if you have a girl at your place and she says no? I don't want to have sex. Cool, no problem. I respect your boundaries. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull out your phone, get up, and walk into another room. You're going to either call another girl or pretend you're talking to another girl. Then you're going to come back out and tell her, hey, listen, um, it was nice hanging out with you, but you got to go now. And then you let her mind race thinking, oh, this guy really just called another girl just now. I better either A, give him what he wants because he's going to kick me out of here and I might lose this guy. Or B, she never want to have sex with you in the first place and you get rid of a time waster. You're welcome. So uh, <laughs> what to do if you have a girl at your place yeah, and she well, says, no, I don't want to have sex. Cool. No problem. Okay. But what you're going to do is. You're All right, here we go. Hold on. All right, you got it. So go ahead, go ahead, Mar oh, go ahead Mario. What are you saying? My bad. I was in this, I'm in the studio by myself, as you guys can see. I'm running back and forth. <laughs> so, uh, so the reason why I said that, right, like, is because we all know, because I got a bunch of fucking stupid ass feminists right now in the comments, because that thing got 1.6 million views, bro. And that TikTok, I made it a while ago, but it's right. now starting to percolate. And uh, I kind of put some fire in there. Like some chick said, his name is Unplugged Fit if you want to clown him. I was like, yo, you're a dumb bimbo bitch, whatever, right? But right. that's a whole other story. Because I was like, all right, you guys, you guys want to give me this clout? I'm ready for the smoke. But anyway, right. <laughs> the real, I made this TikTok, uh, I made this, uh, this TikTok a while ago. And basically what I was saying was, yo, you can't let a chick sit there and be like, oh, I don't want to fuck and let her stay at the house. And the reason why I say that is because even though these feminists are going nuts saying, oh, you're being manipulative, whatever, 
No, the chick is being manipulative. And let me explain why for all the idiots out there. <laughs> Yo, when a chick is at your crib and she doesn't let you smash, she's trying to leverage her sexuality against you for some kind of compliance every single time. She's, mm. she's, what she's doing is she's starting, she's getting a head start in the, ma the manipulation game. I'm just playing the fucking game with her. So she's going to go ahead and say, oh, I'm not ready to have sex, blah, blah, or whatever bullshit. Like, she's going to say that to like, get more dates out of you, get more time out of you, get more attention out of you. She likes something about you and she wants to leverage the sex so that she can continue to get that thing. Because women know deep down, once I fuck this guy, I lose control. And what I mean by that is women know deep down, once they give the pussy up, if they don't bring anything else to the table, they're probably going to get left, right? Yeah. But especially if it's a chick that let's say she gave you the runaround for a while, you finally get her back at your crib, whatever. She knows if she fucks you after all that bullshit she gave you, you're probably gonna ghost her. Mm. So what I say is right because all these women want to sit here and say this is manipulation. No, you dumb bimbos. This is me counteracting the manipulation the woman's trying to give because this is what women do. Oh, I don't want to fuck. No, and damn well she wants to fuck, but she wants to continue to dangle that carrot so she can get compliance out of you. So what do I say? Cool. She wants to play this game. I'll play a game too. I'm going to call another chick right in front of you and let you know that you're replaceable. And then you decide what you want to do. I ain't putting no fucking gun in your head. They're trying to say it's rape by coercion. You <laughs> What? No. I literally got these five minutes on Twitter saying this is rape by coercion. In my head, I'm like, bruh, she's entitled to say no. She's 100% entitled to say no to sex. But you know what? I'm entitled to kick her the fuck out of my house and find a girl that's going to say yes to sex. This Bad. is my crib. She's not entitled to stay here. But we live in a clown world where women think that that if uh that they can deny you sex in your own home and continue to stay listen you could deny me sex but bitch you're getting the fuck out and i'm calling somebody else the problem is that when you you put your foot down and you let women know on certain terms you can't leverage sex against me because i will replace you you're immediately looked at as dick a misogynist a, a, a predator people saying all kinds of crazy shit to me and mm. all i'm saying is like nah I'm playing the game too, and I'm letting her know that she's replaceable because that's what girls do. When they know that they can fuck around with you, they're gonna withhold sex from you. And you need to kick and nip that shit in the butt immediately. And here's the thing: ain't nobody putting a gun in her or nothing. I'm like, yo, you got two choices. There is no fucking coercion for you idiots out there. Because coercion, definition, uh, trying to get something to happen through either threatening or violence. There ain't no threats, there ain't no violence. You have a choice to make. You can either A, we we have sex, or B, you leave and I'm calling someone else, but you have a choice to make. Girls call it coercion and also their bullshit, this feminist language. Mm. They don't like the options being given to them and they no longer have leverage against the man. That's right. when they call it coercion or whatever because they're used to being able to exert the leverage. Oh, I'm not ready to do this. Oh, it's okay, babe. It's fine. We can watch a movie. Fuck that. You ain't watching Netflix over here for free. Get out of here. Fuck no. out of here. You know, you, know, you know what I want to say real quick, real quick, real quick. I just want to say that the, the, dumb, the dumb shit about chicks, bro, is that they did. They don't really know that they never had control ever. They never had control in the first place. Facts. That's what mm -hmm. I need niggas to know, bro. Like, and that's why you got to get your fucking mind right, fucking with these bitches. All of you guys. They never had any. They never had a bargaining chip. They never had a bargaining chip because if if that's if if it's a fact that I could call another girl who's gonna say yes, then what what control do you have over me? Period. Mm -hmm. Never had control, bitch. You never like the other day. There was a um, there was a there was a chick um talking about um. I was kind of debating, and she was like, "Oh, you know the way that you talk and the way that you say what you say. It's like you're 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 um you're causing this you know a, a them versus us situation." And I'm like, the problem with women is that they still think that they can compete with men. Only men can compete with men. <laughs> fuck is wrong with you you have a vagina you cannot compete with me i i i penetrate your body do mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. understand this i penetrate your body and then after i penetrate your body i inject you with something from my life force and then you have to carry it for nine fucking months and go through the pain and the suffering that I have fucking bestowed onto you. Mm -hmm. You never had any control. God set it up that way. You have never ever had any fucking control. The only thing you, you the only thing that makes you think you have control is the conveniences of modern fucking life. Mm -hmm. That's it. Throw all of this shit away 
and then women will realize their place in this world. Yeah, bro. It, it's just like, like I said, it, it's like, I agree with you, Miles, because the, the, pro the mistake is they think that they had the leverage in the first place. But the reason why they think this is what we live in a simp kingdom. We're right. here validating anything a woman does. Make no mistake about it, guys. If a chick comes to your place and doesn't want to have sex, that is considered non-compliance. All right. And right. I know what you, these girls are going to say. What? Are you entitled to my body? Ugh. No, but you ain't entitled to my time either. Get the fuck out. And that's right. the problem. They don't like it when you play, when you use the same bullshit that they do back against them. That's when there's problems and they're going to start trying to name call you. You're manipulative. You're, uh, you're a chauvinist. You're a misogynist, whatever. No, I just understand my worth. And I know for a fact that if you're not going to give me what I want, that's fine. Completely okay. But your ride is done then. That they, they're just not used to guys standing up to them, bro. And any right. guy, any guy, me, you, Locario, anyone in the sphere that tells a guy, yo, listen, never let a chick leverage sex against you. If she says no, you say, cool, I respect the decision, but you got to get the fuck out. Now I'm saying no to you. And mm. they're like, oh, you're a misogynist. You should have let her stay, blah, blah, blah. No, man. A woman is, guys, a woman is not entitled to your time, your money, your resources. X. Shit. You, the, the girl, because here's the thing, right? Women, right nowadays, they fought for equality, right? They're e they're they're equal to men on on all. I mean, not biologically, but from a civil standpoint, with businesses being able to work, uh, you know, rights, privileges, all that shit, they're equal. But the problem is that women get to benefit off the equality, right? But they don't they don't deal with the consequences of equality. I got these dumb chicks saying, "Oh, this is rape by coercion, whatever." Yo. Are you not an adult capable of making sound, rational decisions? You are, right? Okay. So if you make a decision, that you have to deal with whatever comes from that decision. Right. You can't sit here and be like, oh, I'm going to withhold sex from this guy, but I'm not going to like the consequences of that of him kicking me out. He should let me stay anyway. And that's, that's why I tell dudes all the time that women, a lot of women, bro, live in a bizarre world. They don't, they don't live in a fact-based world like we all do here. We understand that game is a necessity. You got to get your point. You got to get your money on point, game on point. You got to dress well. You can't be a slob, whatever, because men live in a fact-based reality. If you don't produce, there's consequences of that shit. Women, however, don't live in a fact-based reality. So when dudes like us come across, right, and say, yo, chick does this shit, you need to do this, it's foreign concept to them because most guys don't punish what? Bad behavior. I'm going to say that again for anyone that's mad when from women because women do act poorly at times. And the reason why they act poorly is because no one holds them accountable. So when I'm out here telling dudes on TikTok, yo, listen, if a chick reschedules a date on you, that's bad behavior. You need to punish it and let her pay for the next uh, drink. Oh, my God. This is a foreign concept. And it's like, no, you're holding her accountable. It's just that no one holds women accountable nowadays. So when I come across and I say I'm fucking Frank Castle out here punishing these chicks, doing the dumb shit they do, they're like, oh, what the? This guy's crazy, but I love it. You know, so. <laughs> but, but yeah, man. It's just, yo, you, you got to hold these chicks accountable. Real quick. Let's get to 267 real quick. 267, what's popping? Who's this? Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. What's going on, man? Hey, what's going on, Mr. Vicario? Um, Miles, how you guys doing? Chilling. Well, Iron's here too. What's popping? Did, did you donate? Did you donate? Yeah, I donated. I left the C note, man. Appreciate it, bro. Out. Appreciate it, my brother. What's going on with you, man? Appreciate it. No, I, 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 I ain't going to pick up too much of you guys' time. I just want to say, hey, I've been on a bad boy membership about two months now. And it's been life changing. That's the You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm 53 years old and I'm a PMC. I, I work um, primarily overseas. So, I mean, hey, the game has been working. I started out with some of your free content. Mm -hmm. Then I jumped on the Bad Boys membership. And I must say, it's like you said, it's totally different. That's you different. learn every single thing you need to know. And this is what you do. That's the same. In Europe, as well as in the United States. So, hey, I'm, I'm a testament to that. But I just wanted to say, hey, man, I appreciate you guys' content. Just keep kicking it. I'm going to stay on a bad boy's membership. And tell my boy Myron, he's the fucking man. When you get Sarah J on your shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you, man. Real ass shit. But, um, yeah, just the, um, like I said, man, the bad boy's membership. And the truth and, and interest of transparency. So far, I've only really got a chance to jump on a couple things. Like mm -hmm. one was the um, how to pick up girls, how to keep them interested to in you, and uh, advanced mouth mouthpiece. Right. That shit. I mean, hey, I mean it's it, it's been working 
miraculously. I mean, I don't even have to. I mean, it's kind of crazy when you really think about it mm-hmm. because it's like you don't even have to think about it. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. So <laughs> I'm not going to hold up too much of your time. I just want to drop that little bit of um, knowledge to you guys and let you know that, hey, man, I appreciate the game and keep picking it up. And I plan on being bad boys for life, brother. That's what's up. Yeah, brother. You, man, man. That's what's up. Keep I love up. it. I love it. Appreciate the call, my brother. That's what's up, man. That's, see, that's crazy. What, that's what I'm talking about, man. That's what, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. You see? You see when your guys take the shit seriously? You feel what I'm saying? And yep. uh, if you, you're still on the fence thinking about going to get the bad boy membership, man. Do it! Okay? And stop fucking Just around. Do it! <laughs> Bro, so, dude said he only he only been through two programs on the bad boy membership. Right. There are over 85 programs mm-hmm. plus the fucking documentary. Exactly. This nigga changed his life with Two, two. <laughs> two programs off the fucking um, bad boy membership. Are y'all Facts. kidding me? Facts. Yo, Stop let me say. Playing, bro. Let me let me say this real fast, man. For you guys that are out here that are that are that are watching, I, I know uh, me and Fresh, we've been we've been growing really fast, and you know the, the channel's been doing well and everything like that. I gotta pay homage to Mister Lucario because far before I started this business, before I got on YouTube, before I even did this stuff, I was watching Mister Lucario for years. You know what I'm saying? This guy's an OG in the game. I always pay my homage. I tell Lucario all the time in Miles Behind the Scenes. I respect the fact that they took a chance on me and uh, bringing me on the show. And I'm here to tell you guys that these dudes are the real fucking deal. I kicked it with them in Miami. They practice what they preach. And yo, $97 for a monthly membership to fucking learn how to do this shit and get your life together. Mm-hmm. With, it's a small investment, bro. Like, a small investment. Like, worth nothing. Yo, you take a chick out that ain't ever going to fuck you. Mm-hmm. And you could easily spend a hundred dollars on her. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I got these simps on Twitter. Hey, bro, just because she's at your place doesn't mean you're obligated to sex. Like I, these niggas need to spend that ninety-seven dollars on the bad boy membership, bro. Exactly. Yeah. Facts. So then Facts. you would understand that when a woman shows up at your crib and doesn't give you sex, you—that's disrespect, right? Mm-hmm. That's yep. disrespect. I, you know, I did a I did a show a long time ago about that. I said a chick not having sex with you was disrespectful I was because because the thing is, you guys got to understand is that. When you're dealing with a chick, right, they know, listen, they know that you are dealing with them, flirting with them, trying to get sexual with them. And so what happens is that when they're trying, when they're not trying to do it, when they're not trying to make it happen, they're playing games with you. What they're doing is trying to disrespect you. So this is why you got to get rid of them quickly. Now, the thing is, this is what we got to tell you guys. What you want to do is you want to make sure, though, that you are like when you kick them out the house, do it nicely. You feel what I'm saying? Don't yeah. be like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I know, I know they're gonna misinterpret it. They're gonna be killing. And like, I'm gonna do it like how Myron says. Be like, bitch, get the fuck out! Of my, you know what I'm saying? Look at that, guys. I'm telling you guys to do it. Like, I'm being obviously, you know, I mean, we, we gotta, we gotta run the show here. <laughs> we gotta run the show over here. But yo, guys, do not. And I repeat, do not tell her, all right, bitch, if you ain't fucking, get the fuck out. Like, nah. Yeah. Just, hey, listen, I, I had a good time with you. All right. <laughs> But I got some other stuff going on, and then you can call a chick right in front of her. I've done that. I don't care. Right? <laughs> Are you really calling a chick right now? Go ahead, Miles. Go ahead. Oh, I, I want to say. I want to say too. Like you, you know, you guys have to understand that. Um, it's a, it's a part. It's a part of the. It's a part of the training. It's a part of the training. And I'm gonna. And I'm gonna use the word, bitch. Okay. <laughs> For a reason. You have to train them. You have to let them know how to deal with you. Just like how you would train a female dog. Yes, a bitch is the same way you got to train a woman. And if she's not being compliant, then she's being a bitch to you. You understand? So you have to redirect that energy and you can't do it with hostility. You understand? Mm -hmm. You have to do it with what they call um, positive reinforcement. That's how you train Anyone, actually, because even if you look up, the, there, there's books that's been written on this shit. Positive reinforcement is, is, is the best way to train anyone, right? But the first thing you have to master when you're trying to train someone is you have to master yourself. Right. You so all of that, all of that, you know, uh, uh, you know, crazy cussing and get the fuck out my house and all of that crazy shit. No, because you're not really trying to burn bridges with the chick. You're trying to train her. You're trying to let her know that once you come to my house, you will be giving me your body. If mm-hmm. you choose 
come to my house, you will give me your body. Just like how you have to train the dog. If you need to piss, then you have to go outside. It's the mm. same. It's just, a, it's just the opposite. If you want to be in the house, you have to behave as an inside bitch. Inside bitches give the pussy up. You right. understand? And right. it's, it's just a matter of training. It's not anything belligerent or, 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 or you know, um, um, you know, hostile or anything crazy. It's like, oh, okay. Just like Myron said, hey, I had a great time, um, but this is where the date ends because by this point we would be having sex. So if, if we're not really doing that tonight, then that's cool. Let me, you know, let me get you an Uber. You know, let me take you home. Let me let's do this. Boom, boom, boom. Because the thing is, you're letting her know that the next time she sets foot in your fucking apartment, she mm. might well just turn around and get on her knees and start sucking dick right then and there. You yeah. understand? And, and the thing is, you're not trying to kill the chances of the next time. You're you're just trying to train her so she's prepared for the next time. You see right, what I mean? right. So let's go to five one three real quick. Let's go to five one three. Five one three was popping. Who this? Hey, what up, man? Chris from Cincinnati, handsome black man that talks white. What's going on, bro? <laughs> what's what's going with you? Yo. What's going with you, man? What's going on? What up, Myron? Yo, what's up, man? How are you? Man, I just want to touch base with uh, choosing signals thing. Mm. Uh, I was in a situation last week with a woman. She was dying, dying to have my number, right? Mm. So I give her my number, right? Go over her place, and I'll be damned. She brings three three of her friends out, and she wants me to ride them on. And I said to her, shut the door, and we're done. Because that was... Just wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, re re rewind, dishonest. rewind again. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I, I, I think I missed it. You said <laughs> the girl. What? How, wait, start over. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead. All the way over, bro. Okay, I was at the gas station, right? Mm. And this chick was my cashier, right? Mm. She brought up that she was looking for a boyfriend, right? Mm. So she was like, "Let me get your number." Mm. All right, and I kind of brushed her off. But anywho, I wrote my number down, told her to call me, mm. and she did. So now I go over there thinking that we're actually going out on a date. So she brings out two of her friends talking about, oh, uh, oh, I didn't know they were coming over and all that stuff. And I just said to her, listen, what you did was very disrespectful. Please shut the door and we're done. That was it. Basically charged Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I'm I'm confused. So you went to her place and she had her friends over? No, no, no. I was no, I was I was basically coming to pick her up because oh, she you said pulled that up. you pulled up in the car. Yo, yo, bro, 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 you pulled up in the car? Yeah. Okay, we need we need uh, details of the scene. We need yeah, details yeah, of the scene. Yeah, 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 I don't know where, where, where all this is happening. So you pulled up in your car to her place to pick her up. Yes. Okay. Yes. And now when you for the day. Right. So you walked out of your car, went to her door, and then she opened the door. What happened? No, no, I didn't walk out to no no. Uh I didn't walk out like I was already in the car. She actually came to my car, opened okay. the door. Mm -hmm. Then I saw three of her friends right behind her. Mm -hmm. Right. So Christ. and I said to her that you could have told me this over the phone or text me. Right. And I told her to shut the door and we're done. That was it. And I and I went home. So she expected she expected you to have her and her friends in your car and, and y'all all go out? Is that what who she was expecting? Basically, yes. See, this is what I would have done. I'd have said, listen, unless we all four of us or whatever going back into your crib and fucking, then I'm I'm out. You feel what I'm saying? So so I mean it, you right. know, if, if they if they not trying to do no if they ain't trying to do no fucking you know group sex, then that's a that's a no. You feel what I'm saying? I got I got I got a question for you, bro. Did well, you how did you how did you go about setting up the date? I wanna I wanna get into that. Oh, I called her on the phone and I just asked her, What are you doing tonight? And she said, Oh, I'm not doing anything. How about you and I go out for drinks? And she said, when are you free to, and I gave her the time. I said, she said 730 and I picked her up. Then to my surprise, mm -hmm. I see two of her friends and she's saying, oh, I didn't know they were coming over and all this stuff. And I told her, listen, you, you, you should have texted me 
and told me this. That way I, I wouldn't have wasted my time. And mm-hmm. that was it. I told her to shut my door and we're done. But, so they were all trying to get into your, to your car? Yeah. Wow. And I told her to shut my door and we're done. That's and I, crazy. I went home. I don't play that, man. Right. That's crazy. Well, yeah, they was they was trying to she was trying to set you up for me to be the to be the trick and and to like, you know, basically show her friends a good time and 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 on your dime and all that other stuff. Now, what what the the thing is though, what you what you could also do, well that well, this is the thing. That already from the beginning is whack. So I'm glad that you 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 kept it moving. You understand what I'm saying? I I want to say one thing. I I think one mistake you made, bro, was Cause here, here, personally, what I like to do is, <clears throat> on a first on a first meeting. I mean, you met you 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 did cold approach, but on the first meeting, she has to she has to make it to where I tell her to be. Like, mm. it, it, but we have to meet somewhere, and you got to get there on your own. You understand what I'm saying? You have to get there on your own, and right. I think. And I think that has a lot to do with like her putting out some effort to want to meet you, and it shows a certain level of you know you know, uh, compliance and, and, you know, and cooperation for her to meet you where you t- like picking her up for the first meeting. I don't know. I don't like that. I just never really liked going to an address that a, that a chick told me when I don't really know her yet, or I, I haven't spent any time with her in a, in a neutral space. You get what I'm saying? And that's just me. That's just me. So I didn't really like the fact that, you know, I get that you met her at the gas station, but I have to spend some time with you, get to, you know, get to feel your vibe, your energy before I actually pick you up. And so pick. So bottom line is me picking up a chick is usually a second date thing. You understand what I'm saying? A second and on date thing. Guys, make sure you get the likes up, people. We got 300 people watching, only 113 likes. Damn. Come on, hit the like oh. button. You feel what I'm saying? Like the video, guys. Hit the fucking like button. You feel what I'm saying? Get that shit cracking. Hey, look, we ain't got time like that. I was about to put on that corny ass rock music to like. No, put it on. Put it on. We can do that. (laughs) Get the lights up. Likes up, people. Get the likes up. Get the fucking likes up. We got 100, 148 likes. That's what I'm seeing right now. You got to keep getting the likes up, man. We got to get these likes up to 200. But um, but yeah, but but caller, man, uh, uh, Chris, we, you know, now I'm glad that you 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 kept it moving from that chick. You feel what I'm saying? Because that shit was yeah, whack. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So so you you know you did a good thing. You feel um, what I'm saying? Yeah. No. You yeah. You did a good thing. You did a good I, thing. Uh, I I was just I was just what I was saying was something to learn from. You know, you wanna you wanna set. Because picking her up is just too... Because she saw you at the gas station. She was checking out your car, and she tried to pull a fucking fast one. You understand what I'm saying? And I, again, I don't like going to any address that a bitch gives me, and I don't know her, bro. Mm-hmm. Because instead of, instead of two or three girls, that could have been two or three niggas ready to fucking carjack you, my nigga. Like, nah, man. I agree. Totally agree with you. Right. Totally agree. So, all right. But um, but yeah, yeah man. Uh, just... Quick question for um, Myron. Sure. What's up, man? Yeah. So, what do you do? I've been in a lot of situations with chicks when I call them to set up the date, and when I talk about being close to them, uh, they're they're on this uh, COVID uh, BS now, like this uh, six feet of dating and all this BS. Ah! So, yeah. what do you do in that situation? What, where do you live? I live in Cincinnati. Uh, bro, I mean, uh, real talk, man. I'm not even gonna lie to you. 
any girl that you trust use like you know the beer bug is like an excuse to like not meet up on a date with you or whatever I, I immediately like i delete their number i block them like i don't even fucking i don't fuck with those girls because the thing is this man everybody knows this shit is low iq and like unless she has like a really fucking good excuse like oh i, I work at a hospice and i got like uh my parents are both old as hell and they're they're like in a position where if they get the disease they're gonna die that that's one thing, but she wouldn't be going out at all. She wouldn't even be on those dating apps if she had that shit. So, Facts. ninety nine percent of these chicks that try to use the beer bug, bro, as like an excuse, like nah, because those same hoes that are telling you, oh no, I can't because of COVID. Those bitches are coming down here to Miami and sucking dick, bro. I'm telling you that right now, they're on both sucking dick. That's mm. what, like, I can't see how many how many chicks hit me up uh, this whole New Year's Eve weekend. Like, oh, I'm coming down from Chicago. Oh, I'm coming down from Ohio. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, what what are you doing? And I'm like, damn, bro. And these are all the fucking girls next door. Like all these idiots that come and tell me on, on the chat. Well, Myron, you have a skewed perception of girls because you live in Miami. We're all like that. Blah, blah, blah. No, nigga. The girl that's in your town is calling me saying, oh, I want to hang out with you and your boy fresh on the boat, whatever it may be. That's why we have this awareness because we're down here. The, tell, the girls that are telling you, selling you this purity that live in fucking North Dakota, they're coming down to Miami to get down, bro. This is why, yo, you guys want to know uncomfortable truth right now, bro. <laughs> Girls travel way more than men do. What? If you look at airline tickets and mm -hmm. you look at people that travel alone, it is exceedingly far more females that travel than men. Why? You guys think they want to go around and look at Tulum and be on the beach and get some sun? No. They want to get some D, bro. And they want to be able to get some D without being judged for it, bro. That's the reality of why girls do the shit that they do. So when right. this here in Cincinnati or wherever saying, oh, yeah. Oh, I don't want to go out because it's like COVID. Like, no, bitch, when you come to Miami, you're out, your titties all out, all that shit. You're on a boat sucking dick. Like, don't like don't let these chicks pull a fast one on you, bro, because they're coming down to the warm states to get it down. So never believe a chick when she says, oh, I'm scared of the beer bug. Fuck out of here. Bitches flying south like these birds, nigga. No, God damn. No, 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 I don't. And I wind up charging them. Yeah. I mean, I mean you're doing the right thing. I'm not. I'm not saying that to like lecture you, caller. You obviously know what you're doing. But I'm saying for everyone else that's watching the live show, mm. understand that these girls are always capping when they say this bullshit about COVID. And then as far as like uh, the situation you had where you went to go pick up the girl, the only thing I could would have done, I would have said like, "Yo, listen, me and you are supposed to go on a date. You tell these two broads right now that they're going home, and then let her make a decision there. If she likes you, she'll tell them, all right, ladies, you guys got to go. And right. then." with you but real talk you did the right thing too just by saying nah and then leaving because they what they wanted to do was go and get drinks on you that's what they wanted facts all right exactly all right brother appreciate the call my my dude cool Thank all you. right man i'm a holler all right let's go to uh let's go to 914 i mean 954 real quick 954 what's going on who's this yo what up bro this is dean what's good what's going on dude uh did you donate Yes, sir. I did it on the cash app. Appreciate it, brother. What's going on with you, man? Hey, so two things, man. Myron, you got to hit that Don DeMarco button, man. But uh, second, uh, you know, in the game. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, hey, man. So somebody new getting into the game, doing this cold approach shit, man. So what, 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 what books, courses, shit like that should I do, bro? How to have sex with two women a day in the bad boy membership. What the, who is this nigga? <laughs> Get this book right here. How to have sex with two women a day. That's the book that you need to get. You understand what I'm saying? We got chapters in here that teach you how to approach women. You feel what I'm saying? So make sure you make sure you go to uh, MrLocario.com or go to BadBoyMembership.com and check all that out. Because I have, you know, programs on the bad boy membership that teach you how to approach women, how to flirt, how to build sexual tension, how to, uh, you know, advance your mouthpiece, all of that stuff. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and it's step-by-step -step shit. You feel what I mean? So it's, it's, it's teaching you how to do it. But the thing is, you got to understand, is that none of that is going to help you unless you actually do the thing. This is what I would be telling you. I got to do the fucking work. You have to apply you know, the knowledge. You're not applying the knowledge, if you're not applying the work, it's not going to help you. You feel what I'm saying? So you guys got to make sure that you, you making that happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, uh, Carl, right, I was gonna... man. I hey, appreciate it. Oh yeah. Go ahead. No, all, all I was going to say is, yeah, definitely get the book, bro. Get on the, get on the bad boy membership as well. And, um, I mean, if you want to read another book that gives you a little bit more theory, 
I, I like the mystery method. I think it's a good book because it explains like the intricacies of why women uh, make select the way they do. So you can kind of get the theory behind it. But like his application isn't good. Like obviously that shit was from like almost 20 years ago. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't run any of their routines. But like if you want to like understand like the hard wiring of what women attra are attracted to, like the attraction triggers, like, you know, leader of men, uh, you know, mas masculine features, etc. all these things. It'll be a good book so that it can explain like it'll basically show what show you why the car works the way it does. Right. And the best the best teacher is going out there and do it. you feel me? Right. <laughs> so that's the best teacher. You got to go out and do it. Right. Because half, half of what you're going to learn is being out there. You understand what I'm saying? Because, for example, you have right, to right. you got it. You have to know how you feel when you're doing what you do and how much tolerance you have, how, 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 how you're going to feel when a girl rejects you. You feel what I'm saying? Because look, for example, you might have one guy that's going to go out and he going to get rejected and he going, that's going to be the, the end for him for that night. He's like, I'm good. I can't, I, I can't do this no more. I got to take a, a I got to relax. Then you got another nigga. He could get rejected 10, 15 times. And he's like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to, to the next girl. So it's two different types of, of energies that's going to be there. So the first guy got to work a little bit more on being able to take rejection. So you got to figure out how much work do you need to do to be able to take that rejection? You see what I'm saying? And that's, you're only going to learn that when you're out there in the field. You feel what I'm saying? Word, I got you. All right. Appreciate it. All right, brother. Yeah, I have a good one. All right, man. I'm holler. Yeah. All right. So let's go to seven seven oh eight. 708 was popping. Who's this? Hey, how's it going, man? What's what? going on, everybody? Chilling, chilling. What's going on? Who's this? Hello? Yeah, can you hear us? This is Darius. Yeah, can What's, you hear me? I can hear you. What's going on, my brother? Did you donate? Yep, I sure did. All right, what's Just going like, on? Literally like a minute ago. What's going on with you, man? So appreciate it. What's going on with you? So, oh, yeah, for sure. So first of all, Happy New Year to all three of you. Happy New Year. And uh I wanted to I wanted to get your uh you guys opinion in this intake on this uh study that I came across since you guys are talking about uh you know not waiting for sex mm -hmm. pretty much past the second date. Mm -hmm. So the Journal of Sex Re so the Journal of Sex Research mm -hmm. they did a survey on uh 11,000 unmarried adults mm -hmm. who were, you know, in serious or steady relationships. Mm -hmm. Pretty much uh, 93, pretty much 93 percent of them uh, made it to at least one year. And when they were asked how long they waited for sex uh, to have it, uh, 51 percent, which is the majority, said they waited a few weeks. So three, 38 percent said they waited on the first date or within the first couple of weeks. But only 11 percent said that they had sex. Uh, on the first date or mm -hmm. before they even went out on the first date. So right. I wanted to get you guys intake on that. So they're saying that uh, a small percentage of people had sex quickly and then got married. No, 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 no got into, uh, into long-term relationships, uh, couples. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, I, I was just explaining to Lucario that they got into relationships that lasted over a year, right? That's what you said. Right. Correct. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I, I think I think the study makes perfect sense. I think the study makes perfect sense. Um, there There's only a certain type of man who value values his time enough to make sure that he's fucking on the first or second date. You understand? Everybody else is. Uh, it, I mean, you know, if, if you don't want to say simp, everybody else is the type of guy that makes women that allows women to think they have a fucking choice. You understand when you when you are valuable, when you think your time is valuable. And you and you know what you want and you have an idea of how you want things to go with a female. You are you are only going to give her the choice of either complying with your your with your program. And if she's not complying, then she has to see the door. Other guys, they're willing to wait. They're willing to give women choices. They're willing to, quote unquote, wear her down. They're willing to, you know, entertain her. They're willing to be friends until they get their opportunity like Mm. Most, and what it is is that most guys are like that. That's why you had the 51% of guys who waited weeks 
Then you had a smaller percentage of guys who who waited like maybe a couple of weeks, like maybe a two week span of, you know, two or three dates. And then you have 11 percent of guys. Right. Of the right. guys if you don't know, there's only a, a small percentage. There's like 10 percent of guys that's fucking 90 percent of the women. Myron, right. back me up on this shit because Myron knows all this shit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and, you know, I'm interested to ask about the, no, and that's 100 true. Like, and I and I'll argue, Miles. My, they usually say about 20 uh, percent of the guys are having sex with 80 percent of the girls. Right. I would argue closer to what Miles said that in this day and age, with with social media and everything like that, and the fact that girls have access to more men now, I will argue 10 10 percent of the guys are having sex with 90 percent of chicks. But right. I'm interested about this study. The, the, who was it? Self reported? No, no, no. This was from the uh, Journal of Sex Research. No, I got that. But like it was self-reported from from men or women is what I'm trying to say. Oh, who was it reported by? Well, I found this on uh, menshealth.com. This was uh, uh, through a link from menshealth.com. So they, they, uh, you know, put it online for a lot of people to see. But the Journal of Sex Research published it. I'm not exactly... I would say so. So check this out. I would say that that the stats that you just gave, I'll say that's fairly accurate because I'm going to agree with Miles that most men don't understand that uh, that like a woman withholding sex from you is a major sign uh, is a sign of number one disrespect and a sign of she doesn't find you that attractive. Because mm. I always tell people this litmus test when I want to dumb it down. If a chick met Drake, would she make him wait? And the question is always going to be no. Why? Mm. Because she can't afford to miss an opportunity with somebody like Drake. So she's going to fuck him without him even asking. So right. I need guys, men, regular men, to, to hold themselves to that same standard, bro. Because the problem is that you, you can't let girls run two different types of rules. And what I mean by this is you can't let, like, where you need to be in the category where it's like, I need to fuck this guy right now. Mm. Like, I, you need to be a right now guy. You can't be a, oh, I, I, I need two or three dates or whatever. Because when girls go on multiple dates with you, what she's basically telling you and woman is this. I don't see you as that high value. I don't see you as uh, like your sex bill isn't that high enough. So I need to go out on more dates with you so that I can rationalize in my head why I'm going to fuck you. I need to feel like I'm getting something in exchange because you yourself are not enough. And that's how a lot of women operate with men. Most girls, when they go on dates with guys, it's kind of a means to an end because it's like, oh, I don't want to be alone. I like this free attention, whatever. But he's not that sexy. So what I'll do is I'll just go on three, four, five dates with him because he's going to allow it to happen. Then I'll bang him after that. But yeah, I, I don't know, you know, but I'm going to make sure I get mine before I give him his. Right. Well, so what, was, yeah. what was the actual study? What was the actual study trying to say, though? That's what I want to know. Uh, it was basically just trying to indicate that uh, generally that most people or most, uh, you know, most people who have sex or indulge in sex, especially with someone who they uh, eventually click with, they waited a few weeks. Majority, just the majority, not all of them, just, you know, oh, more so they, half. Oh, so they're trying, to say, they're trying to say if you waited a few weeks, then you're more likely to be in a longer term relationship. Right. Uh, no, pro I, I wouldn't say that. No, I wouldn't say that. Mm. Just it just uh, indicated the stats, just that, you know, people just had a preference mm. to wait for a few weeks. That's all. But yeah. I'm not that's necessarily right. sure that that correlated. That's, how that's, long what, that's the, what I think. You know, that's the, what I think the they were. That's what I think they was trying to say. That's what it seemed like because um, they said that there was a larger amount of people who waited than didn't. Right. 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 That's what I'm saying. That's why. Because every time when I see see what's funny about these studies, and you know when I see these things, I'm always say I always say to myself, what are they trying to say? Who's doing the study? And, who, and, 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 and and what is the what's the agenda behind the study? You know right. what I'm saying? That's what I'm always looking um, at a lot of times when I see these studies. And also, too, a lot of times when they do studies on sex and correlating it to other things, it's very um, it's, it's hard to correlate things because like even I've heard on the Internet where they have these things where they, they said, well, they had studies that shown like if a if a if a woman had sex with a lot of different partners, then that's going to make it less likely that she's going to be able to stay in a marriage for a long time. And the thing is, how do you, uh, how do you study that shit? You understand what I'm saying? Because what would need to happen, and even this study, is that all things need to be sort of equal in order to make the study accurate. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? So first, we got to see if these people are telling the truth or not. That's one thing. 
You see what I'm saying? Two, how do you how do you actually right. accurately correlate sexual situations to 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 the actual progression of a long term relationship with 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 leaving out right. all the no, other no, variables? No. You know what right. I'm saying? I, right. Right, for sure. I, I understand what you're saying. But no, I don't think, uh, you know, because I can send the link mm. in the uh, live chat, but mm. it was just uh, saying, I, I'm not sure what the purpose of the study was mm. necessarily. It was just giving just pure just statistics of the people who they, right. you know, surveyed. That's all. Right. Now, that's, I mean, that's interesting, though. I mean, it's because, interesting. But, you know, follow, all you got to do is follow the money, man. Because, oh, I'm sorry. What were you saying? I'm just saying, you, you know, shout out to Steve the Dean too, because he he's he's heavy on this. But all you got to do is follow the money, man. Because if the, the 51 percent of people, they're 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 what, what are they while they're quote unquote waiting all those weeks and months, right? What are they doing? They're going out on on more dates, bro. Right. They're going out on more dates, and that's what they want people to do. That's what that, that's how that's how you. That's how the the bars, the restaurants, and all these other places, and the and the and the flower shops, and the, all this shit. That's how they make money because men are, you know, trying their best to, you know, this chick is leveraging the vagina, right? And guys are guys are actually falling for the fucking trick that the vagina is worth all of that, right? Mm -hmm. so they're, they're first of all they're spending their most important commodity, which is time. That's number one. That's the first fucking mistake but then <clears throat> they're spending their their attention their energy and their money their fucking money taking these chicks up oh let's you want to go to do the the miniature golf and you let's go bowling and you know maybe we could do uh we could go to the range and then we can you know have some dinner and then go to lunch and hey you want to go get some new co some coffee some, some coffee yeah and then we could do brunch i love brunch don't you love brunch like fuck out of here right fuck out of here your pussy is worth nothing to me your pussy is worth nothing to me because you're dealing with a man that understands his own fucking value you understand you deal with a man that understands his own value i don't need to wait for your fucking pussy i don't need to do that you mm -hmm. understand and once you know that then you'll be in the fucking you know top 11 10 percent and that's what that's what we're trying to do we're trying to get let me tell you something the real relationships that that last or when the or when the bitch knows her when the bitch knows her place and the man knows his value. Those are the relationships that fucking last. Thanks. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's a there's a if, if they really did the real fucking research and checked out those the relationships of the of the fifty one percent, all of those they said that those relationships lasted at least a year, at right. least a year. Them pe those people were fucking miserable because the woman was with a man she didn't respect, and the man had no fucking had no fucking value on his time. Say that again. No, I was just saying all of them lasted at least a year, not just the uh, fifty one percent. No, no, I know, but I'm but but I'm, but I'm saying the it, within the fifty one percent, those are the people that quote unquote waited. What I'm saying is. Those are the people that were, in my opinion, if they if they did extra research, I think they would find that those people in the fifty one percentile were mm. fucking miserable. You understand? Right. And it wasn't. And I mean, yeah, there are exceptions oh. to the rule, but most of those people, I feel that are going to be miserable because that's not the type of man that a woman actually wants. You right. Understand? And then also, let's just keep in mind that like most okay. guys, mo most guys subscribe to like the ideology that. I got to take a girl out on three dates and I got to make her like, like me and all this other shit. A lot of guys uh, talk to women with like the premise of, I hope she likes me game. When in reality, we teach you guys to basically, when you approach a woman and deal with her, it's like, take it or fucking leave it type game. You know what I'm saying? And here's right. the thing. Here's the most important reason why you guys got to get sex from a girl quick. Real, real talk. The reason why is because you need to see if you like her because because you need to be with a girl that like it, it let, that she brings more to the table than just sex. You know what I'm saying? Like the sex is just like a formality. You need to say like that. That's cool. But like you, here's the litmus test. If you wake up next to chicks the next day, are you going to be mad? Are you going to be embarrassed if you got to fucking bring her out to lunch? Are you going to be embarrassed bringing her around your boys? If the answer is yes, then you shouldn't be fucking with her in the first place. You mm -hmm. know, what I mean? the reason why you get the sex in the first place is to see if she could fulfill her pre preliminary duty as a woman. Mm -hmm. If she could do that. Then that's when the other stuff comes into play. But you be, should be dealing with chicks that you like anyway. The thing is that a lot of guys are thirsty and they just want to get laid and they'll get laid at any cost. They'll tolerate bad behavior. 
They'll tolerate an ugly chick. They'll tolerate a fat chick, whatever the hell it is. You got to you gotta only deal with chicks that you like and then make sure those are the ones you're getting laid from. But the problem is that most guys take what they can get, man. So when you look at this study, this is why it's so skewed. You got people waiting weeks and all this other shit because a lot of guys subscribe to the ideology of like, Oh, I got to, uh, you know, I got to wait. I'm going to follow what the woman says. I'm going to wait because the woman wants to wait. And it's like, if you go off that, then you're going to take an L. Because like Miles was just saying, and I always say before too, guys like us are bad for the economy, bro, because simps run the economy. You know what I'm saying? Flower stores, jewelry stores, uh, fucking restaurants, it's uh, fine dining. All these places exist because of simps, man. Real talk. We're going to talk about it. A lot of the women that go to these places and are able to get resources from their men, they haven't earned it. You know what I'm saying? They haven't earned it. Like these dudes are taking these chicks to like... He has dinners on first dates and the chick hasn't earned it. So if we were, if more guys were thought like us and made women earn the shit, right, they, right. I, the economy will crash, bro. So yeah, I, those stats, I get them. I think they're accurate, but just keep in mind that that's for most normal guys, which most right. normal guys are blue pills. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. My, yo, let me tell you something, man. Listen, listen, y'all gotta understand something. Y'all gotta understand. There's a, there's a reason. There's a reason why. Only 10% that like the the 10% are the richest, the 10% are the most successful. This is why this 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 uh study makes sense. Because mm. truly successful people, they know their worth, so they don't wait for nothing. They don't wait for nothing like that. Exactly right. I don't, I don't fuck I'm gonna wait for that's pussy though. You were born with that. What am I waiting for? What the mm -hmm. fuck are we talking about? Mm -hmm. you, you get what I'm saying? If bro, if it was flipped, if it was flipped, then we would be the we would be the fuck like imagine if 51% of all men was on the fucking bad boy membership or some shit. Right, you know? right, exactly. Facts. And like the life would be totally fucking different, bro. I would be doing this podcast from a fucking uh uh a uh, Lear jet or some shit. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you fucking, fucking Miles Cunningham video on a jet. If it was the 51, if, if, if the world was actually flipped, right. this, this study makes sense simply because it, it just goes to show you that only, only 10% of people know their fucking value, bro. Yeah. There's only 10% of men actually know their goddamn value. Facts. Mm -hmm. so when, when, when we're telling you to join the bad boy membership, we're actually giving you a key, a glimpse into the 10%. And not all of you niggas is ready for that shit. Uh, most of y'all is in that 51%. Let's be right. honest. Most of you, you feel me? And that's just the way it really is. Like a lot of cats is not ready to, to, to deal with the power that's inside of them because with great power comes great responsibility, right? The Spider-Man reference. Yes. Right. You motherfuckers right. ain't ready for that shit, bro. A lot of dudes is truthfully. And I'm not, I'm not saying this to come to come at dudes, but it's just a fact of life. Like it's only a certain amount of chiefs and a whole bunch of Indians. It's only a certain amount of bosses and a whole lot of workers. You, know, you understand me? That's just how life is, bro. Right. That's real talk. That's real talk. So anything else you got, caller? You uh, wanted to yeah, ask? For or? Sure. All right. Uh, you know what? So what I was going to uh, actually ask, because I'm sure there's other callers ahead of me, and I wanted to be considerate. So oh, no, you uh, good, can go I ahead. call back a second time? And no, no, you good. Second time? No, no, you no, good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You can, you can go right now. You can still donate oh. later. You can still donate when you get off the call, but but go ahead. <laughs> For sure. Definitely. So my uh, second question is, so speaking of, you know, dates and waiting for sex and whatnot, mm. the thing is, because I, I personally, so for the first date, right, uh, I just wanted to get all three of you opinion mm. of, um, you know, when it comes to dialogue during the, like, for uh, the first date, because uh, me personally, I don't really, I can't really elaborate and stretch my words and ask all these questions that make the date last at least like, you know, an hour, hour and a half. And I was wondering, is it appropriate if you just keep like kept the date literally, because I can ask all the questions that I feel like I need to ask within like a 30 minute time span. If that, mm -hmm. so, but the thing is, is that I honestly feel sometimes a little strange or weird because I feel like sometimes I may not ask enough questions or elaborate enough. It's not that I give those, you know, uh, very basic, simple, like, for example, if they, if the girl asked me a question in return, like I'll say, you know, where are you from? Mm -hmm. You know, if she asked me where am I from, I won't just say, you know, oh, you know, Chicago. 
not just, you know, just one word answers. I'll elaborate a little bit, but I don't ask a lot of questions to the point where it goes into our 90 minutes, hour and a half, two hours. You, you was about to ask the question. 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 And that's it. Ask the question, no. You were about to actually ask the question. Do that. No, I did. I'm sorry. I did. I'm okay. saying, is it appropriate? I got it. I got it. That is, is it appropriate for caller, 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 call 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 like for example, of a first date for like 30 minutes? Okay, minutes. Uh, yeah, because okay. you can't really elaborate when it comes to making conversation like deeply into an hour, an hour and a half, and etc. You're so talkative right now. Why can't you do it on a fucking date? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like Sounds- two- <laughs> uh, let me okay caller i got a couple of questions because i could already i kind of know what kind of guy you are already uh, how old are you 29 okay where do you live chicago Illinois. Okay. okay what do you do for a living uh, i work in a grocery store okay so you're, you're you're a what stalker like stalker. Stalker. okay all right. And, uh, grocery. Okay. Um, you stuck me. You strike me as a very logically sound person because you're overthinking this, my friend. Just for me, l- listening to the way that you're speaking about it and everything, and I get it. Your question is basically, "Hey, listen, I only have thirty minutes of material for me to like ask questions or whatever. How do I extend a date?" You're asking the wrong question. What you need to ask instead is, "Hey, um, how do? What's the fastest way for me to get sex? Because the reality is that's what you're really trying to figure out. You're just like wording it up in another way that's a little bit more politically correct." So the thing is this, man, um, when you go on a date with a girl, you need to treat well, it like a and like as well as like chemistry, you know, like sex okay. and chemistry as far as can I actually, you know, click with the person when it comes to interests and whatnot, you know, no, like quiet, you know, quiet, quiet, quiet up, quiet up. Let Myron finish. Quiet no, up, quiet up. Listen, that that bullshit about all oh, chemistry, all that. That's what fucking losers say to like to try to get a girl. No, bro. You be so goddamn attractive. It's either she complies or it's goodbye, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like when you go on a date with a first girl, if a girl agrees to meet you on a date, okay, she already finds you attractive to some extent, okay? So the ball's in your court whether you're going to fuck it up or you're going to uh, or you're going to close the deal. That's the reality cuz girls are going to flake on you if they don't like you, bro. They ain't going to show up on no fucking date that they don't want to show up on with all the options that women have. So, pat yourself on the back that the chicks are meeting up with you. Now it's on you to make things fun and interesting. Now, I can already tell that you're a very dry guy, a very matter-of-fact dude. You know what I'm saying? Because just from the way you're asking a question, whatever, you're very logically sound. I need you to stop being like that when you deal with women, bro. Because the thing is, is that you can't be this monotone and boring when you're dealing with women. You gotta, when you have when you go on a date and she asks you, where are you from? And she's and you say Chicago, I need you to make a joke, something like, Yeah, you know, I I saw I ran into Chief Keith the other day, and you know, just because he's in Chicago and he's soft, I robbed him too. You know what I'm saying? Ha ha. Some stupid joke, even if it's dry. Just to show that you have a personality, you have a sense of humor, and let me tell you something else. When you're able to crack jokes randomly, you know what that says about you? It shows that you're intelligent. People, th- there's a reason why the top comedians, Dave Chappelle, etc., these guys are very intelligent as well. Because if you can make jokes and make people laugh, that said, th- that basically puts you in another category that you understand uh, social dynamics. You know what I'm saying? When you're able to be funny. So I need you to stop being having this monotone, uh, flat way of speaking. I hope you don't talk to women like this, bro. Because you need to be interesting and you need to have life experiences that you can convey to a woman. Now, with that said, you said that you have only 30 minutes of questioning. That's fine, bro. The point is, is that she needs to feel like it's a job interview. She needs to feel a little uneasy when you're talking to her. Because when she feels a little, a little uneasy, she doesn't know where you stand on a date. And that's going to be your biggest power. Because most girls are used to a guy falling all over them on the date. Oh, hey, what's up? Like, you're so cool. And they're qualifying to the chick. Now, nah, you got to make her qualify to you. You know what I'm saying? So... And I'll go after you. Yeah, for sure. And the reason, go ahead. And just quickly, the reason why I say that when it comes to just asking a few questions is the thing is, is that I don't have a problem getting dates. Uh, the thing is, is that I understand or I, what I keep hearing when I do have dates is the same thing. Uh, usually, is that all the questions you have for me? And when I hear a girl say that, I automatically think that I'm asking too many questions. That's why I... No, 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 no. This, this oh. is the thing. That's the thing. Go ahead, go ahead. The thing. What, what, what's happening is this, man, is that you're probably asking a lot of questions 
but there's no there's nothing there's no substance behind what you're saying. Bam. So so what it is is what wow. so what you first need to think about is what do you okay real quick name me three things that you want a woman to be like in order for you to like her. Give me three things. Confident, feminine, and poised. Okay, now, cool. Now let's say, so So when you're on a date, what you want to do is you want your questions to apply to that. You understand what I'm saying? That's, what you, that's the type of things you, you need to ask on dates. What you're doing is when you're on a date, the because you're talking about, yeah, I want to smash the girl, but I also want that chemistry, that connection, whatever it is. If that's the case, you need to be mm-hmm. asking her questions that's going to reveal to you what type of girl she is so you can see if she is the type of girl that you want. So yeah. if you say, I want a confident chick, right. you ask her questions that's going to reveal to you if she's confident or not. You understand? If you want a chick that's feminine, you're going to ask her questions that's going to reveal to you is she feminine now? So you're going to be like, yo, do you like to cook? You like to clean? Oh, really? So what type of stuff are you be cooking? Really? Okay. So, you know, you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. the questions are going to be geared towards the things that you're liking. So you're, you're, you're basically interviewing her to see if she's going to be on your team, to see if she's going to get hired in your company. You feel what I'm saying? So, so the thing is you're saying you're, right. you're, 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 you have 30 minutes of questions. The reason why you have 30 minutes of questions is because and why it's going so quick is because you're not, you don't have enough substance in your questions. You understand what I'm saying? Because if you're trying to figure out how feminine this woman is, not only are you asking her questions, you might want to tell her to do something because if she's feminine, she's going to do what you say. Correct. So if you say, Hey, don't sit over there. We're going to come sit over here. Come follow me over here. Right. So you're seeing the check how right. feminine she is based off of if she's going to follow you. Damn, you right. what I mean? So this is what I'm saying, where when you're dating, first, you need to figure out what type of uh, uh, situation. Like I have a friend who he, he says that he needs to know if a chick had her father in her life. So mm. when he date with a woman, he asks her, he says, so tell me about your dad. You yep. understand? Yeah. Tell me about your relationship with your father. And then so they have that conversation. You see what I mean? So that he can figure out if she had that relationship with her dad, which is going to imply to him, okay, she knows how to respect men. She, she, she had a, 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 you know, a good guy that was, you know, that was teaching her how to, you know what I'm saying? So those things are important to him. Uh So when he's on a date, that's the type of questions he asks. So when you're on dates, don't ask regular, oh, because you just was like, oh, so where are you from? And what are you, whatever, that's nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Your questions should be geared towards figuring out if this girl is the right type of girl you're going to be want to fuck with. And yeah. also what you want to do is you want to get deeper into the questions or into what you're saying so that you can get to the, to the, to the root of if the girl is really like she is, because what happens is women can pretend or act a certain way off the, on a surface level. Right. So, if, so if you're trying to find out she's feminine, let's say you say, you know, let's say you do, the, you ask her about cooking. He's like, Oh, so what do you like to cook? Really? Oh, really? So how long have you been cooking uh-huh. for? You understand? What type of what type of dishes do you usually like to cook? What, what don't you like to cook? You understand? Like what what made you what makes you actually want to cook for a man? You know, like you just ask, and this is just on cooking. You feel what I'm saying? But it's under the umbrella of seeing how feminine she is. You see what I mean? So you should right. you should already have questions and 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 conversation that could last for fucking three hours. Yeah. Now, be date for three hours, but you should have enough to where you you will because a lot of times guys they say oh, I'll run out of stuff to say, I don't know what to say. Most of the reason why you don't know what to say is because you don't know what who you are. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. No. Say that shit one more time, please. Right. <laughs> you don't know what to say because you don't know who you are. That's what it is. If you knew who you yeah. are, you know what to say. Because right. who you are is gonna be is going to be, you know, uh uh, uh dictated through the questions you're asking. Right. Because the questions I'm asking her is to see if she's up to snuff to be with the type of guy that I am. You see what I'm saying? That's what it's about. Yeah, mm. bro. And that's mm. that. Yo, real talk. That's 100 percent true. Like, like I told you, you got to treat it like a job interview. Right. And just like Lucario said, all your questioning needs to be conducive to you screening out to see whether she's w- worthy of hanging out with you or not, bro. And yeah. that. And that's when women know that you're about shit because most guys go on a date trying to impress the girl. But when you're asking her questions about herself and I, and I like that because I do that too, Locario. I love to ask women about their relationship with their father. That's very right. important because mm-hmm. 
if you got a chick that doesn't have a dad or worse yet, she doesn't respect her dad, eh, that's, that might cause you some problems down the road. You know what I'm saying? Where mm -hmm. she's going to have issues with trusting your authority, whatever it may be. So when you ask her questions like this, deep down, she's going to know, oh, he's asking me these questions because he wants to see what type of person I am. And just naturally, she's going to want to qualify to you. And she won't even right. know that you're doing it. And then that puts you in a more attractive light. But your problem is that you're not, you don't have a game plan, bro. You're going in there probably making random conversation, asking yeah. her random ass questions. So what do you do for fun? Right. <laughs> right. Bro, bro, check this out. Check this out also, Cola. Like there's, there's a difference between um, questions and answers. And shout out to April um, in the chat. There's a question. There's a difference between question and answers and, there's, and then and conversations. Right. When you're when you're having a conversation, as you know, especially as a man dealing with a woman again, like Lucario said, you mm -hmm. have to the conversation begins before you even start talking. Mm -hmm. You understand? Like Lucario said, you 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 know, if you you invite her to the bar, you should get there before she gets there. You mm -hmm. should find find situate the seating. When she gets there, let her know, OK, I'm going to have you sit here. If it's a booth, you have her sit and you have her sit and slide into the booth and then you slide in on the same side of the booth with her. Um, right. if, if it's a, if you're sitting at a bar, you sit at the you you have your seat at the bar and you have the seat prepared for her. Like so she comes in, you say, I'm going to have you sit here. And you usually you want her to sit on your left side so you can whisper in her left ear. Shout out to Alan Roger Curry. But. And what I mean with that is the, the conversation now has begun. You've started speaking to her before you even opened your mouth. You let her know, I am running the show. You understand? Right. And then with that being said, when you actually begin talking, you have to, it, a conversation is an exchange, is an, is an exchange of ideas. And, but what's really happening is that you're not just asking questions and getting answers. You're asking questions and you're listening. Yes. To find the next point of discovery. Right. You understand? You're, you're lit. So, so, and, 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 and coupled with what Lucario said, you're not just asking, oh, so what do you do? Where do you live? You got any brothers and sisters? Oh my God. Like you have to, you ask questions and then you listen to what she's saying. A lot of times a person has inflection in their voice when they talk about a specific thing. When mm. you hear inflection, you can stay on that topic. You right. Understand? Even even if it's a simple question like oh so where are you from and she was like oh well you know I'm you know I'm from the Chicago area but you know when I was born in you know Virginia because I was a military kid and blah blah oh you were a military kid wow that's that's interesting so so did you have trouble moving around a lot did you did you make any friends in school like you know um. And then that's when you could probably get to that that father question. So was your father in the military? How's your relationship with him? You get what I'm saying? You're listening. You're not just gathering right. information like some fucking robot. You're listening and and finding finding like uh, uh, interesting points of her responses to get you to the next talking point. You understand what I'm saying? Because you're trying to find out about this person. And like Lucaria said, you're trying to find out if she's if she's actually up to snuff to fuck with a guy like you, you understand? You have to be a little bit more human when you're, when you're having these interactions guy. Yeah. You're asking questions, uh, caller. You're asking questions to, to basically you're asking questions to ask questions. What you need to do is ask questions to actually listen. You know what right. I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. the fact that you told that you told us that you only have 30 minutes of questioning alarms me because <laughs> the reality, if, if, if she if, if you're actually listening to everything she's saying intently, which you should be doing anyway, because you, you want to have her in that hot seat where she feels like she has to qualify to you. You should be listening very carefully. And when she says certain things or certain trigger points, you you go back and hey, well, you saw you mentioned this. Can you tell me a little bit about this. And let me tell you something else, too. That's a very attractive trait that um, if you're able to exhibit this on a date, girls are going to remember you. Let's say she tells you a, a little story. Right. About, you know, me and my brother got into a fight one time. You know, we argued over fucking pancakes. Right. Blueberry pancakes. Some shit like that. An hour, two hours into the date. Like, hey, you want to get some blueberry pancakes? But we can't fight about it this time. Boom. <laughs> you, know, you know what that's going to do? But that that's going to show that you listen to what she said. And then right. also you have the, the, the social awareness and acuteness to understand now, when someone tells you an intimate story like that about their past, they're able to bring it back up in a, a, a comedic fashion. You understand? Right. And right. when you do that, it says a lot about you as a, as a person and as a human being. Shows right. empathy, shows that you have memory, shows that you're not a social retard. It shows social calibration, etc. So when you talk to these women, 
It's alarming that you're telling me you only have 30 minutes to question because reality, if you have five questions, you start with a base of five questions, you should be able to generate five hours of conversation easily off those questions because when she talks, you're going to have other points of contention where you can push the conversation and just like my right. said, points of inflection where she might tell you a story, but you're going to notice she feels uncomfortable about, about it. Mm. What you could do is you could start to, you know, show the empathy of like, hey, listen, uh, you know, if it's too tough, don't worry about it. You don't, you don't got to talk about it. And just from you saying that, she'll tell you the story because you're telling her you don't have to. You're showing her the comfort, like, you don't have to tell me the story if you don't want to. But then she's going to, that's a trust thing. And then boom, she'll open up and tell you that story. And then, like I said, you could bring that story up later on or whatever it may be. And it's going to say a lot about you as a guy. So I need you to, when you have these conversations with these women, man, you need to actually listen, bro. The problem is that you're probably there with a stiffy thinking about sex the whole time, asking questions because you're thinking, oh, let me just ask these questions so I could generate some kind of conversation, not really listen, look at her tits the whole time and then try to close. And that's not going to work, bro, because women fall in love. Women, to get in a woman's bed, you have to get in her head first. And the way you're going to get in her head is by having stimulating conversation, bro. There's no way around it. This is where what game is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is why guys that might not necessarily be the best looking, but they got a good mouthpiece. They're able to carry that conversation with a woman, bro. So I need you to not be a ro robot, be a human being and understand that it is a job interview, but you're also going to carry the conversation and ask her questions that require critical thinking on her end, bro. Not right. dumb questions like, what do you like to do in your free time? Because she's going to say some dumb shit like, I like to go to the mall or whatever. And it's like, okay, then that's when you clown her. <laughs> you go to the mall, that sounds like a great hobby. What do you pick up when you're there? Something like that. You know, it shows, uh, you know, it shows that you're a human, bro. You can't be a robot. And right. before we let you go, uh, are you on the bad boy membership? Yeah, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no. Do it. Uh, Come on, bro. You got it. You got to get on the bad boy membership, my brother. I'm telling you, all this stuff we're telling you and more is on there, so that it'll help you out in, in with all these with all these different things. Uh, and and speaking, statistically speaking, how will the bad boy membership help me to increase the thirty minute of thirty minutes of uh the material that I have when it comes to talking to um what uh. <laughs> And you know what you're gonna and you know what you're gonna love the bad boy membership. You know why? Because it's it's step by step detailed advice because i know you, i'm telling you you're gonna love the shit you feel what i'm saying so you got to get on that you, you know, know what I mean? get on it you know what bro that study that you surveyed it'll put you in that 11 percent of guys that have sex quickly yeah exactly. the membership it'll put you in that 11 percent, bro all right all right i appreciate you guys thank you all, all right, right man, all right, man. Brother. peace Do it. All right. <laughs> so guys yeah we about to we about to head up out of here we done went past the time and shit yeah, this is going by man quick. God damn. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. You know what I'm so, so listen, uh, guys, make sure y'all hit the like button on your way out. Um, anything else y'all want to say before we get up out of here? Um, check me out at, on Instagram, Miles in the game, Miles in the game. Check me out on YouTube at Miles Cunningham. Just put in Miles Cunningham and look for the Game Kings documentary poster in my avatar, man. Yeah, man. Happy oh man, we got, we got we got one person just called. Oh, they they hung up. Cool, they hung up. <laughs> yeah, y'all be lucky. You know what I'm saying? Jesus, Myron, Myron, where can they find you, bro? Uh, guys, uh, just subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, Fresh and Fit. Uh, that's YouTube channel, Fresh and Fit. And then we got our Patreon, Patreon.com/slash Fresh Fit. Uh, we do this show with uh, Locario every Monday, guys, 10 p.m. Yeah. So tune in, man. Uh, you know, ba battle the great minds, and and man, we're gonna be here to help you guys out. You know, and don't. And main, main story is, guys, don't let a chick lever sex against you, guys. Don't Facts. be a sucker. If she don't want to give you sex, she don't like you that much, go find another girl. Facts. And uh, y'all want to take this last call or not? Nah? Yeah, I can. I could do it. Yeah, I, can. I can do it. All right, cool. We're going to take this last call, and then we out. 861, what's going on? Who's this? Hey, what's up, Lucario? How you doing? What's going you on? What's going on? We get, what's going on with you, man? Hey. Cool. Shout out to Miles. Shout out to Myron. Um, I've been... Hey. for a little bit i have a question it's it's, it's a little um embarrassing but I'll, but I'll, but i'm gonna ask it um what do you do to go from game or uh, from you know tricking off your money on the you know the hose and uh go to to go from that you know to getting uh to being a a, a player you said how do you go from being a trick to being a player is that what you're asking <laughs> yeah, because basically, 
you know, that's what I'm doing now with, you know, with the money. And I've been used, you know, I've been doing that for, for a while. And so, I want to get off of that and, uh, you know, go from that to actually, you know, uh, to, you know, meeting women the right way. Are, okay. are, you, are you on the bad boy membership? I was about to ask. <laughs> no, I've only, I've only seen you guys for about two weeks. So I haven't. Oh. You lying. You ain't, you ain't see us for only two weeks. Nigga. You've been, you've been calling into this show for a minute. What are you talking about, bro? Stop lying. I remember your voice. <laughs> so, so you're saying you're not on the bad boy membership? <laughs> no, no, no. So you're not on the bad boy. No, I'm not on the bad boy. Do no. it. <laughs> Just no. Do it. Okay. Okay. All right. So that well, that's the first step. Uh, you feel what I'm saying? Because and and, and truthfully, this one. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. one we're saying now because listen, you have to invest in yourself, right? Instead of investing mm -hmm. in the in these fucking hoes. You understand what I'm saying? Yo, I did a, I did a uh, live stream the other day, um, and the title was "Invest in Women by Investing in Yourself." Facts. You and all of that money that you're spending on these women, you need to start spending that money on yourself. Whether it be by you, you know, getting on a bad boy membership, or you know, enriching your life in some other way, investing in yourself. That's the only true way to to invest in women. You understand, dude? You you have to be valuable, and then you can bestow value to the female. You got me? Call right. it real quick, bro. What what? Where are you at right now? You're at your house. Yeah. Yo, go on. Listen. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm at, I... What what do you do for work that has you tricking on these chicks? Okay. What do you do for a living? Yeah. You... I, I'm I'm traveling. I, I I do business, business, and I travel a lot. So okay. Are you, hotel right now? Long time. are you at your house or your hotel? Where are you at? Oh, right now I'm at a hotel. All right, bro. You're going to open up another tab right fucking now and you're okay. going to go badboymembership.com and you're going to sign up, bro. Because listen, here's the thing about tricks, man, that, that, that gets me mad. You <laughs> motherfuckers got a lot of money and you spend it on girls that don't give a fuck about you. Mm. And, then, and then let me tell you something about deal, like tricking. Yeah. Tricking is just like doing drugs. You're never going to actually be happy with what you're doing, what you're spending your money on. Because here's the thing, bro. Since you rely on money to get girls, you're going to continue to spend money to get the girls because you don't know how to do it organically. It's just mm. like a drug habit. So I tell guys all the time, don't pay for sex. Don't get prostitutes. It's going to fuck you up. It is a vice. It is just like getting drugs because the thing is, is that now what you're trying to do is you're basically a, a recovering coke addict and you're trying <laughs> to get off the coke and you're trying to go back to being sober. And I'm not going to lie to you, bro. It's going to be tough. You're going to have to change your whole fucking mindset because you, you went years spending money to get right. you leading with your wallet. So now you need to lead with your wallet. Take that $97 and invest in a bad boy membership because your mindset is fucked up already. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because how, old you, how old are you, bro? I'm 34. 34. Ah uh, yeah, it's it's about time, man. It's about time. You got to start investing in yourself and 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 upgrade your mindset, bro. Like really, because you've spent hundreds, if not thousands. No, you've probably at this point at thirty four years old, you've been tricking for a while. You probably spent thousands upon thousands of dollars on on women that don't give a fuck about you. If you called any of these chicks right now, they mm. probably wouldn't even hang out with you unless you paid them something. So, and that's the that's the unfortunate reality. Here's the, there's yeah. a lot of dudes that are like this that are in this category where. Women don't really like them for them. They like them for what they provide and the money and like the, the lifestyle, all this other bullshit. Which, 80 percent. You know what I'm saying? So your thing is you got to you got to put value. Yeah, on yourself. What? Yeah, I get you. But how do you like? Um, OK, uh, the bad boy membership. Yeah, I'm going to get on that. The thing is, how, how do you like uh, how do you change like that habit because it's easier said than done. like you go cold turkey or do you do you fade it out or or, or what yo hit the button hit the button hit the shia labeouf button nigga do it <laughs> just do it hit the don't let your okay. dreams be dreams <laughs> yesterday you said tomorrow so just do it make your dreams come true all right all right just do it. No, seriously though, seriously though, caller, you have to understand that changing your mindset is not uh, it's not a yeah, it's not a one, two, three thing. It's gonna it's gonna take time, it's gonna be a process. The bad boy membership has over 85 different programs plus a two and a half hour documentary that you need to watch. You understand? Mm -hmm. These yeah. are these are, <clears throat> these are rules, philosophies, and ideas 
that you need to internalize mm-hmm. and, and begin to apply to your life little by little. It's not going to happen overnight, bro. You're 34 years old. That means there are, there are a lot of fucking habits that you have you have you've gotten really used to and you and have been ingrained into your psyche that you need to unlearn and re you and you need to unlearn those and you need to relearn the the contents of the bad boy membership and the um game kings documentary and this is this is so very serious because you can't keep going down this path bro because one one day one day you'll either run out of money or you'll you'll run out of tolerance for your for your own for your own you know lack of evolution your own lack of growth as a man you understand what I'm saying? So I'm glad that you're even calling right now. I'm glad that you even recognize that there is a change that needs to be made. And mm. I'm proud of you for that. And I really applaud you for that. But it's going to take time, bro. It, it's going to be a process. And, and I'm glad that you identified this, bro, because most tricks are stupid and they don't understand that it's a serious problem to lead with your wallet when you deal with women. Facts. Because if you lead with your wallet when you deal with women, they're going to become vultures. And what I mean by that is they're going to have no mercy on your ass. They're going to, oh, you want to leave with your wallet? You you want to let me know this lifestyle that you live and you don't have any game? Cool. I'm going to suck you dry. And I don't mean your dick, you fucking loser. They're going to suck your wallet dry. So right. that's why you can't lead with your wallet, bro. And, and I'm sure you're probably starting to pay some of the consequences of that now at 34 years old, starting to finally realize that you don't have a girl that you could call that actually fucks with you for you. you know? Right does have long-term consequences that will negatively impact your ability to forge relationships with women. And here's the biggest reason why I tell guys, don't pay for sex. What's going to happen is you're going to secretly resent and start to hate women when you pay for sex or when you mm-hmm. fucking escorts or any of this shit. Because you're going to see the dark side of how females operate and right. you're going to see them for, uh, for being... Because uh, I always say women are professional resource extractors, but if you deal with like hoes, escorts, uh, you know, prostitutes, etc. You're gonna see it on another level. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's a fact. That's and a it's, fact. <laughs> it's gonna poison your mind, and you're going to start to hate women, bro. And that's the last thing you want to do. Because at the end of the day, you know, we ain't, this ain't the misogyny fucking channel. We teach right. you how to be attractive and get girls because women are a great asset to have. But if you don't know what you're doing, it can fuck you up if you don't right. associate with the correct women. So it's real talk. So you got to get on the bad boy membership to be able to discern women that are worthy of your time and women that aren't worthy of your time, bro. $97 a month is fucking nothing for you if you've been tricking for this goddamn long. But the one tip I could tell you right here, right now, before we let you go, is you're going to have to unlearn everything and you're going to have to lead with your with you, your charisma, your game, not your wallet. So what you're going to do is you're going to go out to the fucking mall and you're going to talk to normal girls and not mention anything about what you do for work or how much money you earn or none of that bullshit. And it's going to give you an honest assessment of how little game you really have. Because sometimes you got to get smacked with reality and see how bad you really are doing for you to really make a change. Right. Realize that you're going to have a tough time getting these girls without flexing your wallet. That's what's going to motivate you to say, okay, I really got to fucking invest this time and actually go through the modules, learn this shit, understand that I am a man I'm not a fucking wallet and I need to present myself as a man to these women so they respect me first. The problem is that these chicks don't respect you because you're putting the wallet out first. Right, because you don't respect yourself at the end of the day. Facts. 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 All right, so I think yeah, his call just dropped, but he heard, he heard all that shit. So listen, facts. bro, just, just make this shit happen, man. Just do it! You feel me? So, guys, that's pretty much it. We about to head up out of here, man. Yo, I appreciate everybody tuning in. Um, make sure you like the video when you when you before you leave. Uh, make sure you guys go to badboymembership.com. Appreciate everybody who uh, tuned in. Appreciate everybody who donated. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody in the chat room for rocking with us. You know what I'm saying? Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram at, at real Mr. Locario. Um, Myron and, and still you can shout you can shout out the rest of your stuff. And, and Locario, Locario, when is it? When is the next uh, live stream this week? Um, the next live show, well, the next, uh, one with me and you is Friday, Friday. So, okay. And All tomorrow right. I'm doing something with Steve the Dean. All right. That's, cool. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Friday at what? Four o'clock. Yeah. Four o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's pretty much it, man. So guys, uh, we about to head up out of here. We appreciate hey, everybody. Hey, uh, Myron, uh, give, give his information. Yeah, no, just fresh and fit. My uh, fresh and fit guys on YouTube, uh, fresh and fit uh, uh, for Patreon, patreon.com slash fresh fit, and then fresh and fit YouTube channel, guys. I'm here every Monday with Locario and Miles, uh, doing the in the game podcast, guys, because we actually are in the game. And yeah, man, thank you guys for having me as always, man.
Peace. All right, people. We out of here. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. We gone.